Hi everyone, this is Michelle from the Snooze Clinic and welcome to another episode of Sleep Talk. Okay, I just realized that I've been so preoccupied recording everyone else's episode that I forgot my own. <laughs> so until I was um, organizing, um, yeah, collating all the episodes earlier, and I was like, oh no, where's mine? I've only done one today and that was the opening episode. Yep, so here I am, um, squeezing in some time um, to record my own episode. We're going to look at um, the family's role in supporting a patient with obstructive sleep apnea. Yeah, um, The family plays a very important role in helping to... Um, make the patient's CPAP journey much better, much easier. With a little bit of encouragement um, and yeah, and, and um, a, a bit of reminders, a bit of nagging. <laughs> More often than not, I think patients with obstructive sleep apnea seek treatment because um, their spouses or their girlfriends, their boyfriends drag them to the ENT because of their unbearable snoring. Yeah, um, I can imagine what would have happened if the spouses or the girlfriends and boyfriends didn't drag these people. These people would probably have unaddressed sleep apnea for a long time or maybe for the rest of their life. Of course, some know because um, some actually wake up gasping or um, some wake up with palpitations. Yeah, But there are patients that are totally clueless. If you ask them, they tell you, no, I slept well last night. Um, if you ask them if they have um, uh, excessive daytime sleepiness, do they feel tired in the day, they tell you no. Many of the patients or many of um, the people who have obstructive sleep apnea tend to procrastinate and not seek help until um, very obvious symptoms start surfacing. One of the roles <laughs> the family member has um, is that of a snitch. Yeah, it doesn't sound too good, but um, it's good for the patient. Well, I'm not asking you to tell a lie. <laughs> like even when a patient looks like he's just got he, he um he's just got run over by a truck, you tell him, oh you look so awake now. No, I'm not asking anyone to lie, but um there are little little things which people around the patient can probably pick up better than the patient himself or herself. And if the patient is not using it, um for the night, nudge him or her um, and say, hey, use your mask, you know, use um, use your CPAP machine. But I guess one day is okay. Um, well, but if it goes beyond that, like two days, three days, um, it's time for the family members to actually remind the patient to use it or demand <laughs> that the patient uses it.